for the ministry. My brother Ed, and we thank you for joining us in worship this morning. Let us stand, church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. You know it's a privilege to worship the glory of God. So let us dwell in his place. Let us dwell in his holy place. Let us worship at his footstool. Yes, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Oh, gracious Father, we welcome you in this atmosphere, oh God. Yes, Lord. And because you are wonderful and marvelous, God, we just, just want to bring up to you for the glory that is due to you in hand. Yes, Lord. We invite you in this place. Yes, Lord. Father God, we thank you for the mercy and your grace of the kindness, God. Yes, Lord. You've been so amazing, God. Yes, Lord. So as we endeavor to lift you up, oh God, from the bottom of our hearts to the depths of our soul, God. Yes, Lord. We say yes to you all this morning. Yes, Lord. May your presence stop in this place, oh God. As we bow down at your throne, God. We cast our lives before you, oh God. And we say we not a shut of God, God. Not my name, but your will be done, God. For earth as it is in heaven, God. We worship you, God. We put our hands in the sun to the Lord, God, for the same Lord. We remember the Catholic cross, God. You live in the kingdom of the land for the God. And you place under the right standing with you, O God. And we remember the cross. And you are too loud to be in the Lord, O God. You are so sacrificed in life on the power of the cross. And you live in the kingdom of the land for God. And you place us in right standing with God. So we worship you, O God. We magnify your name, God. We glorify your name, Lord Jesus. We enter into your grace for thanksgiving. And into your form of praise. And be thankful unto you, O God. And we bless your holy name. Have your way, O God. Have your way, O God. Spirit of the living God. We welcome you in this place, God, the Holy Spirit. And hey, Lord, Father God, teach us how to love you, O oh God, like never before, O oh God. Love me to God. Love me to the Savior. Love me to the Holy Spirit, O oh God. And we are the Son of God. Amen. You were the Lord. You were the Lord. You were the Lord. You were the Lord. Is you, 
Jesus. It's you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Open up your heart, church. And let it be this morning, Lord. We surrender to you. We surrender to you, Lord. Stay right there. Jesus, Jesus, Son of God, Son of Man, the blood of the forgotten Son, Jesus, Hallelujah. All the Lord is you. This world will never do. This word will never do. It's you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We just worship God. Oh, Lord, we just worship you. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord.
thy will be done. The strength of a man is his will. And one of and one of the one of the biggest issues with man has always been his will. For it's it's very it's the very nature of man to want to be self-autonomous Amen. or self-governing. You know, Amen. those of us with children, you know, and um, when they start hitting them, them teenage, them Amen. teenage years, it's like, okay, you know what, I can do I can do what I want to do. You know, I can come in when I want to come in. You know, I don't have to do what you say. You know, we have, we we have, we have some nephews <laughs> that we raised and try to pull that on me. I'm like, you know what? My house, my rules. You know, when you get wrong and you can you know, you and you on your own, then you know, cool, you can do what you want to do. But right now, this ain't got no job, ain't paying no rent. This is our kingdom. <laughs> you do, you do, you do what T.T. Uh-huh. Carroll and Uncle Horace say. So it's the very nature, and I say, people with children that understand where I'm coming from. It's the very nature of man to want to be self-autonomous. Or self-governing. That's right, without God. Without God. Amen. You know, I often often say people, it's this really, it really just breathes my heart and hurts my spirit. Yes. How we see some people, they live like God doesn't even exist. We want to be self-governing, we want to be self-autonomous. And we we if we, we we can trace this mindset all the way back to the Garden of Eden. Well, the issue is, so the issue then was who was going to rule? Was man going to rule or was God going to rule? And that is the same issue that we face on the day. Who is going to rule? Who going to be God? Who's going to rule? So in in St. Matthew, the 6th chapter, the 10th verse, the phrase be done is actually a verb. So when you say thy will be done, you're, you're talking about action. The phrase be done is a verb. And what that literally means, it means come to pass. So when you say when so when you're saying thy will be done, you're asking God to bring something to pass in your life. It can also be seen in in the aspect of asking God for instructions. And we see we see David when he asked of God in Psalm the 14th. The vision of Psalms in the 10th verse, he says, teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. So it's a form of instruction. So it's an action. Be done. Do something in my life, God. Do something for me, God. So thy will, so when we say thy will be done, we're also acknowledging that God knows what is best. When we pray thy will be done, we are saying that we want God's will to prevail over all the earth as it does in heaven. In earth, we, you know, we are earthen vessels. Amen. Corinthians said, you know, you know, we, we are these earthen vessels. So when we're praying, Thy will be done in earth, God, let your will be done in this earthen vessel of clay. Amen. God, have your way in my life. We're talking about being under God's control. Amen. When we say that will be done, we are acknowledging God's right to rule. It is a statement of submission to God's ways and his plans. We are saying, Father, please conform my will to your will. To say that will be done is actually like a prayer of resignation. But we are telling God we resign and go against any carnal inclination that's not according to you. We go against any attacks of the flesh that are not according to your will. Thy will will be done. One commentator put it like this. Thy will be done is better translated. Lord, make me willing to do your will. Because remember, um, someone had said, the strength of a man is his will. That's why a, a, a lot of times when it comes to um, warfare, it's um, the most powerful tools that people can use in warfare is mental warfare. That's why a lot of times when it comes, if, if you ever see some of the movies or you see, um, you watch a lot of action movies when they interrogate the people 
You know, they go, they use all types of methods. They, 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 they use the, the snowboard and they use the deprivation of sleep. Why? Because they're trying to crack that person. They're trying to break that person's will because they know that the, the strength lies in the will. And that's why a lot of times when, uh, when Pastor Roy was talking about um, in his series, he used the example of a soldier. When that soldier signs up for the armed forces, whatever branch he signs up for, basically they're telling Uncle Sam, "Thy will be done in my life." You know, whatever way you need to, you know, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to conform to the military standards. I'm going to, I'm going to conform to your rules and regulations. And it's that soldier's will that allows him to be faithful. It's that soldier's, it's that soldier's surrendering of his will that allows him to do whatever his commanding officer bids him to do. So thy will be done. Make me willing to do thy will. Saying when, when we say thy will be done, it allows God to work on us so that he can manifest so that new nature that's found on the inside of us can be manifested. Because you know the change that's happened on the inside, like the old people used to see in the sun. Something on the inside is working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. So it's something on the inside. And when we, are, when we, when we begin to say that will be done, it allows God to work on us so that that new, yes. that new creation, that new spirit can manifest itself. A good, a good example of that will be done, and that's one of the scriptures that I had read, is in St. Luke, um, the first chapter, the 38th verse. A good example of that will be done is see about Mary. Now, the, now the, the, um, the, the awesome thing about Mary that I that I that really struck out in me, Mary, when, when the angel appeared to Mary, she was only 13 years old. So this a, a, a tender age. So here, so here is this 13-year-old teenager. She just heard an immense, you know, incomprehensible announcement from an angel, you know, of the Lord that she had been chosen. By God for a special service. Her life was going to her life was going to be forever changed. And what made and what made this announcement so intense is according to Deuteronomy, what the angel was telling her under the law, she was supposed to be stoned to death. She 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 you know by, by him saying you know this is what the Lord this is what the, the Holy Spirit is going to overshadow you because they saw that as you know she's pregnant and she's not married. She was actually supposed to be strong. But notice her response. She said, I belong to the Lord, body and soul. Let it happen as you say. She, she you know, she, she bypassed, oh, Lord, I can get stoned for this. I can get killed for this. You know, they're going to mock me. They're going you know, to they, they talk about me. But she says, you know what? I belong to the Lord. She understood her position. And, and, and allow God to do his will in our life. The first thing we have to, the first thing that we have to understand is our position. Just like that soldier understands his position when he goes into the services. I belong to the Marines now. I belong to the Army now. I belong to the Navy. I belong to the Air Force. So I belong to you. I belong to the Lord, body and soul. Let it happen as you say. So she was basically saying, I'm yours, Lord. Do what you want. I'm going to leave the rest to you. Her mindset is the model that we as kingdom citizens should follow. We should have the same mindset. Number one, she heard a word from the Lord. Number two, she believed it. And it's, it's not enough to believe. I believe the word of God. Okay, the, 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 the devil believes and knows the word of God. He, the Bible says he trembles. So after the belief, so she heard the word, she believed the word, she submitted when she said, I belong to the Lord, body and soul. Let it happen. She submitted. And after she submitted, she obeyed, and she just rested in God's purpose. She said, just let it happen. That's that's resting mode. Amen. You know what? I belong to you. You know, this, just let it happen. 
She was saying, God, I'm just gonna let I'm just gonna let God and the Holy Spirit do what they do. Amen. So she she heard, she believed, she submitted, she obeyed, she rested, she heard, she submitted, she obeyed, she believed, she rested. She was basically what she was basically doing, she was echoing Romans 12 and 1. For the word in, in, in 12 or Romans 12 and 1, the word present means to put in the hands of another. That's all. If, if, if you just want a simple version, you know, if you want to break it, break down, break it down in the Greek, present this means that I'm putting to put in the hands of another. If I give you a, if I give you a present, if I present you with something, I'm putting it in your hands. I'm not going to be an ending giver and take it back. So I put it in your hands. And that's one thing we have to understand when it comes to our walk with the Lord. It's about submission and giving up. The Bible says that the devil is a thief and a robber. God is not a thief and a robber. He's not, he, he's not going to come. He's not just going to snatch it from you. He wants us to submit it. He wants us to give it up. So the word present, this means to place in the hands of another. And so what are we presenting? We are presenting our bodies. For our body, that is the instrument of how we express ourselves. So that's why Paul said you need to present your bodies. Because, you know, you, 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 got, you, you, got, you got your mind, you got your heart. But your body is what's going to actually ex carry out what you're thinking and what you're feeling. Say that, girl. So that's why he said, put your instrument in the hands of another. Hallelujah. It, it's, the, it's the body that implements our desires and our choices. So that, 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 that's what, that's, you know, once it gets to the body, you start putting it in motion. It's the body that implements our desires and our church choices. And living sac sacrifice, living sacrifice, if you want, if you just want, a, a, if you want just a simple, Translation of living sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Living sacrifice just means to be under God's control. Yeah. Simple definition. You know, living you know, a lot of people have you know gave their different spins on you know living sacrifice is this, that, and the other, but the most simple, the most easiest definition that I could give you when you can walk away from here so you won't Keller was talking about I didn't I didn't understand nothing. Living sacrifice just means to be under God's control. So she was willing. She was willing to be under God's control. And by being under God's control, she allowed her body to be an instrument of the will of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that will be done is talking about God's destiny being carried out in our lives. And those who have this, those who have this mindset constantly operate in, in, in a mentality of yes, Lord, yes, Lord. I remember years ago when we when um when we used to be we used to be in, in, in prayer, you would you would hear the old mothers walking back and forth in the room saying, Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes to your will, Lord, yes to your way, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I say, yes, Lord, God. I say, yes, all day, God. It's yes in the morning. Yes, Lord. Obedience is one of the, obedience to the word of God is one of your most powerful tools. Always ask, ask God to put in your spirit. Put a yes, Lord, spirit in your mind. It's yes, Lord. God, when I don't understand what I'm going through, it's yes, Lord. <laughs> God, you know, yes. when, when, I, when I can't see my way, it's yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, Lord. And as you begin to say yes, Lord, and you begin to submit yourself to me in obedience, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna find, you're gonna see, wow, you know what? I put that yes, Lord, there. I don't, I don't feel that you no know, kind that kind of way no more. Ask God to put a yes, Lord, down in your spirit. Years ago, we used to go to um, when we were when we were part of uh, Koji. Many, many 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 years ago, we would go to Holy Convocation in November in Memphis, 
And one and one of the most beautiful, beautiful sounds. If if if, if you could maybe you could Google one of their convocations on um, YouTube, but one of the most beautiful sounds. If you ever want to hear one of the most beautiful praises for thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of saints from all over the world. We would gather in Memphis and all you would hear throughout the audience was, yes, Lord. That's all you would hear. Yes, Lord. That's all you would hear. Yes, Lord. And, when they, and as they begin to say, yes, Lord, the spirit of God began to, began to fall. Like we often say, it's not in the length of the prayer. It's in the sincerity of the prayer. Amen. So they would all, I mean, through that whole temple, through that whole convention center, thousands of saints just saying, yes, Lord. Yes. yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And the power of God began to fall. Why? Because the Bible says in front of the eyes of the Lord going to and fro the earth. Okay, what is he know. doing? Just He's now. seeking those whose heart yes. has been made perfect toward him. Yes, He's seeking those. Ask God, put a yes, Lord, in my spirit. All right, man. Yes, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. So the minute, the minute we begin to pray, that will be done. We hand, we hand ourselves over to the, to the grace of God so that, so that he may do as he please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're telling God, we need you. I want you to rule. I want you to reign. In my life. So when I when you say that will be done, yes, Lord, I'm resigning and I'm quitting my old ways. When, 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 that, when that soldier is called into the military service, he 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 can't all this they're they're gonna his life is gonna be changed forever. I think it was an, a, a, another thing, I think it was Timothy, Paul told Timothy say. If those, if you war, if you don't entangle yourself in the affairs of this world, all right. we in a war. We, 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 we don't get caught up in a lot of foolishness. And this so that when that soldier's on that field and says, see that war does not entangle himself in the affairs of this world. When that soldier's on the battlefield and his life is at stake, I guarantee you he's not thinking about the latest iPhone that just came out. <laughs> I guarantee you, right, he's not thinking. Oh, so you know why? I, I, I wonder. I wonder what color Beamer or Rover I can order. He's not entangling himself. Mm. He when, 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 when he's doing it at that particular time, yeah. he's protecting the mission. He's protecting what has been entrusted into him, Man. and what has been entrusted into him. We can use a, a, a classic example of the war over in Ukraine. Those soldiers are, are fighting because what has been entrusted in them is freedom. You know, we're, 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 fight, we're fighting for freedom. So that has been entrusted in me. So when that soldier's over there, I guarantee you, not one soldier over there care. Like I said, if they got the latest iPhone, if they got the latest Xbox, they don't care, they don't care about that stuff. Because what has been trusted to them, they're fighting for the freedom of their people. Hallelujah. Like Pastor Roy has said a couple of weeks ago, what has been entrusted to us as kingdom citizens? The truth. We protect the truth. We stand on the truth. And even when even when it comes to um believers, when we use a, a spiritual, a spiritual uh, analogy to compare to the natural, as kingdom believers. We are not we are not fighting for victory because we have victory in Christ Jesus. We're fighting from a place of victory. So I'm, I'm the, you know the battle the battles are the battle has already been won. Paul said in Corinthians that you know let you know that our victory is in Christ Jesus. So we are fighting from a place of victory. That's what that's that's what I start that's. Victorious in him. We are more, we are more than conquerors. So we're fighting from a place of victory. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. So we're saying, Thy will be done, Lord. I'm handing everything over to you so you can do as you please. We are telling God, 
You can rule, you can reign, and you can manifest in my life. You can rule, you can reign, and you can manifest in my life. The safest place, the safest place in the whole wide world is in the will of God. That's the safest place for your life on this morning. The yes, will of God. That's that. That's a real where all your power lies. Hallelujah. That's where. That's that, that. You know that that's that, 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 that that's that's your hands of protection. Yes, Lord, in obedience. That's your wall of protection. Absolutely. Because when you begin to say yes, Lord, and you walk in obedience, and you walk in humility, the enemy cannot touch you. That 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 is one. That is one realm that the enemy cannot function in. He cannot function in humility because it confuses him. Because he's looking for you to come all hooked up in your feelings. You know, uh, oh no, not today. I'm not the one. He's looking for you to come all hooked up in your feelings. But when you humble yourself, because you know that if you humble yourself, that he's going to exalt you. In due time, he's going to exalt you. Each, every, each and every one of us on this morning. We got a due time and we got a due season. And it can fit when you humble yourself and say, you know what? I'm, you know what? I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give, I'm I'm give that one to you. Because it's, it's not worth it. Choose your battles wisely. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Don't be so quick to let people pull you into their madness. Yes. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Thy will be done in Amen. my life. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's about understanding the source of how we can be, be delivered from any form of hindrance. It's about understanding that there's deliverance in my yes, Lord. There's deliverance in thy will be done. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. It's in the here and now. It's not in the by and by. It's in the here and now. We are his agents in the earth. When he says, let thy will be done in earth, in earth, we are the earth investors. We are who he's going to manifest himself to. We are his people. There's, there's no plan B. There, there, there's, 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 there's not going to be another, there's, there's not another savior, there's not another group of believers. There's no plan B. We are it. It's in the here and now. It's not in the by and by. So instead of watching and waiting, we should be praying and surrendering. We're in the wrong position. We watching and waiting. What did he, what did he uh, in Acts, he, he said, you men, what did he say, you men of Galilee, why y'all, why y'all gazing up in the sky? He asked them in Acts. He said, why y'all looking up in the sky? The same Jesus that left, he's going to return. But what I need you to do in the interim, while you're waiting on him to return, I need you to occupy till you come. He come. I need, I need, I need you to go to Jerusalem. I need you to tarry until you be endued, endued with power on high. I need you to surrender. I don't need you to watch and wait. I need you to surrender. Occupy. That that it, that that advocates that there's some type of movement. That, there's something that's going Amen. on in our Amen. lives. Yes. Well, I'm just going to watch and wait to see what they're going to do. Well, I'm just going to watch and wait to see what they're going to say. Well, I'm just going to watch and wait to see what the praise team going to sing on, on Sunday. No, you, you, you should be surrendering and submitting, and you should come in here with your hands lifted up. Lord, I come to receive from you this morning. Yes. God, I give you the glory and the praise. I come to I come to give from you this morning. Hallelujah to give you the glory. Amen. It's been a rough week. God, I need to empty yes, up. I need right. to lay some stuff down, God. God, you know, uh, you know, you know what, God? I, I, I almost I almost went for the throat on that person this week. So God, I need I, I, I need you to help me. Like the old folks said, I need to lay my burdens down. <laughs> glory, glory, hallelujah. I need to lay my burdens down. Because it's because of you, oh God, that that person's life was spared. It's because of you, oh God, that it get me down. I need to lay 
my burdens down. Hallelujah. That's all right, girl. Matthew 26 and 29 is speaking, speaking about Jesus. Matthew 26 and 29, is, and, it's, and this is Jesus talking about Jesus. Say, and he went a little further and he fell on his face and prayed, Oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. He said, Nevertheless, not as I will. But as thou will. So he said, Lord, he said, God, you know what? Thou will be done. It's just a hard one for me. But thou will be done. He said, nevertheless. Some of us need to have a nevertheless moment. You know, God is, 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 look, is, is looking kind of uh, creepy around here now. But nevertheless, God, I'll do what you say. God, I don't understand, you know, what's on the other side. But nevertheless, I'll do what you say. It's like Peter. When he went, when, um, I forgot what passage of scripture in it slipped them out when they were out. They had been fishing, they had been toiling, they had been toiling all, I think all night. And Jesus came and said, Let your net down. I said, But we've been out here all, we've been out here all night, we've been toiling. Ain't nothing happening. Ain't no, ain't, 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 ain't no fish down there. Ain't nothing down there. So so what so so what so what turned this what turned it around when they said nevertheless if you tell me to do it nevertheless I'm gonna do it so some of some of us need a never we we need a nevertheless moment around here. Well God I don't care I don't God I don't care how it looks I don't care how you know how it may seem but if you tell me to do it God I am going to do it. Hallelujah. Nevertheless, Jesus told his father, he said, nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou will. So we got we, so we got to become like Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. Because it, it's like this. It's about knowing God's will and purpose for our lives. You know, you know, you know what the good thing, you know what the good thing about purpose is that it simplifies our life. And it, because what it does, it defines what we do and what we do not. It becomes our standard. So purpose, when, when you, it's like if someone, if someone gave you something and you know what the purpose of it was for, you'd be confused. But once you know what that purpose is, it simplifies it. So knowing, knowing our purpose, or knowing it's like, it's like when you know the purpose of, of something, when we know the purpose of our calling in God, it simplifies our life. Amen. When you when you when you begin to walk in purpose, your list gets short. You know what, God, that will be done. Right now, God, your list gets short. Because the only thing that matters is that God, I just, I just, want, I just want you to get the glory Amen. out of my life. Glory to God. God, whatever it takes, God, for you to get the glory out of my life, God. I'm going to say yes, Lord, to that, God. Thou will be done, God. Thou can, you know, your, your, your kingdom can come in me, God. Your kingdom can manifest in me. Hallelujah. Purpose simplifies. Not only does purpose simplify this, the operation of things, Purpose will simplify your life. You know what purpose will do? Purpose will polarize you. Like you put those, they put those uh, those uh, blinders on the, the horses when they're uh, when they have them in the carriages and stuff. You know why they're doing that? Why they put those blinders? Because they want they just want them to have a singleness of vision. <laughs> they only want them to be looking forward. So what they're doing by putting those blinders on each side of their head, they're saying, you know what? I'm going to polarize your view because the only thing that's important is, is what's going in front of you. What's in front of you. It's not what's on the side of you. It's not what's behind you. So purpose, it polarizes you. Like I said, it, may, it, may, it makes your list get shorter. I know my list got shorter. And it's like, God, the only thing that matters is your will because when, it, when, when you rest in, when you rest in the will of God, everything else is going to fall in place. Say that. Sometimes you may not understand it. You might, you might not know why he's doing it, but as time moves on, you will understand.
But it's about having faith in him, having faith in his will. Because I think, again, Pastor Ray said, what faith does, faith creates movement. It makes me move. You know, God, I, I, I can't, I, you know, I can't see what's on the other side of the door. I can't see what's on the other side of the situation. But because I have faith, faith is allowing me to walk it out. I'm gonna walk it out. Amen. I'm gonna walk it out. That's what that's what faith that's what faith will do for you. It will allow us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, in order for the will of God to be done in our lives, we must allow God to do as He pleases. No matter what He chooses for us, we must put ourselves at His disposal. For his use, even if it requires the sacrifice of all we are and what we have, even if it requires the sacrifice. Remember, the Bible said we're, we're a living sacrifice. I'm, we're, under God, we're under God's control anyway. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. No matter what he chooses for us, we put ourselves, God, I put myself at your disposal for your use, God. For your glory, God. I put myself at your disposal, God. I put myself in your hands, God. For your glory, God. For your use, God. Use me, God, to your glory. That should be our prayer, God. Use me for your glory. Hallelujah. As kingdom citizens, we must always remember that we are new creatures in Christ. We're under new management. We are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And one of the one of the first rules of kingdom management is that we are to manifest God's character. You know, whatever's on whatever's on the in, whatever that has been placed on the inside of that new that new nature that has been placed on the inside of us, we should ask God, God, help me to manifest that God. Help you know, help help me help me to be a, a son of God. God, help me to help me to show. People, you, you know what you're doing. The best way, the best way that we can show people that God is real is by living out that new nature in us. That's the best Absolutely. way that that's Absolutely. the best way that we can show people that God is real. I said, you know what? What I used to do, I don't, I don't do that no more. I can't be, I can't be like you and help you. I got to show you that I was once like you, but the power of God came and changed me and made me a new creation. Any man be in Christ, behold, he is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. That's the best way you can show the world that God is real. Through, through our testimony, through our life. Hallelujah. That's the best way we can show it. So, 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 so we should realize that we're under new management, and that we're to manifest God's character. You know, and, and you know, and it's it's a growing process when we when we uh when we get back into our two uh Tuesday night um Bible fellowship. One of one of the um one of the um modules is on um sanctification and salvation. All right. So it, it, yes. it's, it's, it's progressive. Yeah. That's what that's that's what grace is for. Grace is for grace is for when you're like, oops, God, I missed it. Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. And we often say grace is for you know mistakes. Grace is not for a lifestyle. God ain't stupid. He know the difference between a mistake and a lifestyle. So grace is for when you really really want to change. When, when, when you really want to do right, when you really want to exemplify that new nature that has been placed down on the inside of you. So, and, and the reason why I brought up, you know, we said, well, you know what, I, mean, I kind of missed it this week, you know, Pastor, I hear you talking about how we're supposed to let this will be done. That's why you have to understand is that there's a difference between your position and your walk. Your position is when you accepted Jesus Christ as your personal savior. You're not born again. You're not new creation. You're not new creation in Christ. The position, we didn't have anything to do with that. That was an agreement between the Father and the Son. But it's our walk that we strive. It's our walk that we strive, you know, to you know to be stronger in the Lord. It's our walk that we strive. You know what? God, you know, you know, last month I was struggling with this, but you know, 
I'm, I'm doing better this week. So that's what grace is for. That's what that's what is amazing grace is for. So so we so that's basically when we talk about that will be done. We're aligning ourselves to be that living sacrifice. And as I said, living sacrifice this means that we're uh, that we're under God's control and that we're willing to submit ourselves. Hallelujah. So what I so what I so what I want you to do on this on this week. Just purpose in your heart, even even those of you that are watching, whatever ministry that you may be at on this morning, whatever ministry that you are gonna you're gonna attend, purpose in your heart that when you get there or while you're there, you're there, you're gonna present your body, you're gonna present yourselves on this morning as a living sacrifice. Make that make that commitment to yourself. Where, wherever where, wherever you are, wherever you're going, you know what, Father? Yes. When I get when I get the service on this yes. morning, or if I'm in service right now, wherever I am, yes. I am yes. going to make a commitment yes. to present myself a living sacrifice. I am going to put myself under your control on this morning, God. I I I just need I God. I just need you to do some things in my life. You know. And um, what, let me just say this too about when it comes to about an altar. An altar, coming to the altar is more about what you leave than what you take. Amen. You know, Amen. on this morning, what 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 is it in your life that you need to leave at the altar? You know, is it anger? Is it lying? Amen. You know, is, is it some Amen. type of addiction? What do you need to leave? Amen. Equate altar with leaving. Stop equating altar with, with getting. Amen. Altar is about leaving. I'm a living sacrifice. I am under your control. Altar is where the change occurs. But the surrender must be on our part. Breakthroughs begin with break-offs. Breakthroughs begin with break-offs. You, you know, it, it's, it's, it's on you. It's on you this morning. Amen. Wherever you are, wherever you find yourself, it's on you this morning. It's, it's, it's not always about, yeah, 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 said the Lord. And do you have a word from me? It doesn't matter how many words are given to you. It doesn't matter how many yeah, yeah, yeah you hear. If you're not willing to be under God's control, and if you're not willing to submit yourself as a living sacrifice and lay on that altar, whatever needs to be given up, there will be no change. That's right. That's right. There, there will be no change. You'll be going from pillar to post, That's right. from conference to conference, from webinar to webinar. Mm -hmm. That's right. Seeking for a word. Hallelujah. But you don't want to submit and you don't want to change. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So breakthroughs begin with breakoffs. And the altar, this, this is what this is um, this is what I want to leave you with. The altar, A-L-T-A-R. The altar is for your altar. A-L-T-E-R. That's right. The altar. A-L-T-A-R is for your altar. A-L-T-E-R. The altar is for my altar. Wow. Yes, Lord. <laughs> I'm going to be on the God's right, control. Amen. The altar is for, is for your altar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's where the work happens at. That's where you lay down everything at his feet. That's, that, that, that's where you empty up. That's where you ask God to help you. That's what you said. That's that's what you described about God. I don't want to be like this. I remember I was going, I was going, I was going through something so so hard, and it wasn't the how can I say it? The situation wasn't as hard for me as the way I was feeling. If, if that if that make any kind of sense, the situation. How I was feeling to me was worse than what I was going through. If that, if you can kind of catch on, if you know, you know, like if somebody um, do something to you and it makes you like, like, like my, uh, 
<laughs> I had a little niece and when she I, one day I was supposed to bring her something from um Starbucks and they had ran out. So she runs so she runs home. She said, TG Carol, TG Carol, you got something for me? I said, No, baby, I'm sorry, they here. They they ran out, they ran out of it. I know what it was. She she loved pumpkin bread from Starbucks. And I got there too late and they were all out. So he ran in the house, TG Carol, TG Carol, you got something for me? I said, No, sweetheart. I am so sorry they ran out. And she looked at me, and she had to only be like maybe about five. She looked at me, she said, I am so angry. <laughs> I was like, wow. Well, praise God, she didn't talk with her feelings. You know, she, I mean, she like, I am so angry. So I, I say that to say this. Some, what, what, the way I was feeling, was worse than what was being done to me. And the reason why I say that is because God, I said, God, I don't want to feel like this toward that person. God, you know, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to walk around with the, with the mentality toward that person saying, I'm going to give you everything that you deserve a little bit more. I don't want, I don't want, you know, I didn't want to walk around feeling like that. So that's why I say what I was feeling was more hurtful than what was being done to me. Because I know what God has done in my life. I say, God, I don't want to feel like that toward that person. God, you know what? The, those words that was popping up in my mind, I say, God, take those words away. I don't, I don't want to feel like that toward that person. God, you know, I, you know, I don't want to. You, I, you know, I don't want to have to call them on the phone and you know get them told. And you know, you know, you know, you know how you know how we get in the little mode. We can get them told. Say, look at here. First of all. Whenever somebody say, look at here, and first of all, brace yourself. That's right, it's coming. They lock and they load it. They get ready to destroy you. <laughs> Mary couples know about that. First of all, let me tell you how it went. First of all, look at here. <laughs> That's a country. That's a country. Look, look at here. <laughs> so that's that's why I'm saying the way I was feeling was harder on me than what was happening to me because down in because down in my sanctified soul I say God I don't want to feel like that toward that person that's right that's I don't want right. to have no ill will toward them that's right I say God God you know you you want God you're gonna to have to help me say on that, this girl, one. you you want you have to that's change right. my heart you that's have right. to change my mind right. because God I am I am I am really that I mean it's, right. it's, it's that type of thing to have you walking in the floor right. Jesus Jesus that's Jesus right. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That have you walk on the floor in the midnight hour. Because you don't because you don't want because you don't want to be like that. You don't want to feel like that. That's right. So uh, so so remember, breakthroughs begin with break offs. The altar is for your altar. Amen. The altar is for your altar. So now, be, be, before before I um, go, every every uh, series we have a, what we call a 15 minute challenge. So here is your April 15 minute challenge. We're getting ready to pray, but uh, and I just want you to know that we have no other desire than to see the people of God grow spiritually. We, you know what? Well, we're 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 not about. Swallow the crowd, you know, we're more about fellowship. Connect with someone. Fellowship. It's about fellowship. Stay connected. Stay connected. So it's about growing spiritually. So here, here is here is our 15-minute April challenge for this series. 15 minutes each day, we want you to read the Lord's Prayer. And if, if you if you read it 15 minutes each day by the end of April, you should have it memorized if you don't have it memorized by now. So your April challenge, every day, read the Lord's Prayer for 15 minutes. What, I, what we want you to do, we want you to read the Lord's Prayer, we want you to meditate, we want you to worship, and we want you to repeat. We want you to read, we want you to meditate, we want you to worship, 
and you, we want you to repeat. Now, after reading the Lord's Prayer, this is this is your this is your challenge. This is your assignment. What we want you to do, we want you to go and focus and meditate on the ninth verse. The ninth verse, what does the ninth verse say? In King James Verse, it says, After this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Now I'm going to read the, the Phillips translation so you can get what hallowed means. So the Philip translation says, Pray then like this. Our Heavenly Father, may your name be honored. So what, so, what, so what we want you to do during the month of April for those 15 minutes, we want you to meditate on St. James, not St. James, St. Matthew, the 6th and the ninth verse, when it says, Thy name be honored. So what you would want you to do, after you read the Lord's Prayer, focus on St. Matthew 6 and 9, Get you some instrumental worship music. But what we want you to do, we want you to each day reflect on the name of God from our January series. Because remember, Matthew 6 and 9 says, your name be honored. January, we did the series on the names of God. So what we want you to do, meditate on Matthew 6 and 9, worship music, go back, pull your name from January and say, God, Today, I'm going to honor you as Jehovah Jireh. Yes. God, yes. tomorrow I'm going to honor you as Jehovah Shalom. Yes. God, in the next day, I'm going to honor you as Jehovah Sifimi. Yes. God, then the next day, I'm going to honor you as Jehovah Nisi. Yes. So that's your 15 minute challenge. Read the Lord's Prayer, med meditate on it, worship, go and focus on St. Matthew 6 and 9. Pull a work, pull a name of God from the January series. If you missed the January series, um, you can go to uh, our YouTube channel, King of Glory Milwaukee. Um, again, that's King of Glory Milwaukee. You get those names, but the names of God, they're powerful. Like we said in that January series, God's name yes, is not only is. who he is, it's what he yes, does. It is. Yes, it is. It's what he does. Jehovah Nisi, he's our banner. Yes, yes, it is. Jehovah Shalom, he's our peace. peace. Yes. So his names are not only what he does, it's what he is, who he is, it's what he does. So that's the April challenge. Every day. 15, you know, 15 minutes. Yes. No, you got you got you got 15 minutes that you can give God. 15 minutes. This read the Lord's Prayer. Then um, then go and, and, and reflect and meditate on one of his names. Find some instrumental worship music. So you know what, Lord, I'm just gonna put I'm just gonna put this worship music on. This is me and God, this is me in your time. Even even if even if you have to, even if the only place you can have your time is in the bathroom. Lord, you know I'm getting get ready to put I'm getting ready to put these these buzz in my ear. I'm getting ready to give me some worship music. Oh, and I'm and I'm I'm gonna I'm just gonna find me a word and I'm gonna I'm just gonna meditate it on it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, I'm just gonna meditate on it. God, I'm just gonna God, I'm just gonna sing to you, God. I'm here by myself, God. But I'm just gonna say, You are the God that healeth me. Hallelujah. You are the God, my healer. You sent your word and you healed their diseases. You are the God and you are my healer. Hallelujah. Because of who you are. I'm going to lift my voice and I'm going to say, you are my healer. You are my provider. You are the one that fights my battle. You are the one that goes before me. Yes, yes. And I give you the glory and I give you the praise for it. 15 minutes. Can y'all give God 15 minutes? Yes, we can. Hallelujah. I guarantee if you give him 15 minutes, it's going to grow. It's, it's, it's going to grow. It's going to grow. This, this thing. Even if you said if you said if you did if you did if you've been doing 15 minutes since January and you add another 15 minutes, you're up to a half hour. Just like that. Just like that. Spend time with God. Spend, you know, spend time in his presence. You know, this if you if you if you don't know anything to say but help me in yes, Lord. That's a prayer. If you say that from your heart, what did he? What did the Bible say? You know, you're, you're not, you're not, 
heard because of your multitude of words. It's, it's the heart. It's the heart that connects with God. It's the heart that speaks to God. So if, if you say, well, Pastor, I, I, I don't know how to pray. You know, pray the Lord's Prayer and then say, yes, Lord, help me. If the whole month of April, that's all you know where to start. Start where you're at. Hallelujah. That's right. Start where you're at. That's right. That's right. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Help me. Hallelujah. Thy will be done. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Help me. Hallelujah. Thy will be done. And if you do it with a sincere heart, see if God don't move. See if He don't move. He'll move. Hallelujah. Yes, He will. Sincerity. Sincer God can't stand sincerity. He'll never walk away from a sincere heart. He can't do it. He's a heart God. Yes, He is. The gospel is for the heart. Yes. The word of God is a sensitizer to the heart. It'll break up that follow ground. It'll change your heart. It'll change your mind. It'll give you a new perspective on life. If you just give, just give, give God a chance. That's all we're saying. Give, give God those fifteen minutes during the month of April. Yes, fifteen minutes. Honor, honor every day. Honor one of His names. Hallelujah. And if, and, and if you need if you need if you need the list, just let me know. Alyssa's sharing no, I can bring I still have the list from um January of all the names of God. I you know, I'm gonna help you. I'm I'm, I'm gonna bring the list back out. I'm gonna give it to you. So you can say, you know, by, by the end of April, purpose in your heart that you're gonna that you know that every name that you meditate on, every name that you say, thy name be honored, you're gonna memorize that. So I, I have, you know, King of Glory that here. I have I have that list for you on um on um next on um, next week Sunday. And I'm gonna see if somebody can show me how to um how to even post it on Facebook, Frank. If you can tell me what format to put it in, so I can post it. Um, how I can post it. So I'm even gonna post it. Cause our our desire is to see you grow. Yeah, absolutely. I do, we, you know what? Absolutely, we just girl. we just want y'all to make it. That's all. We, our heart's desire is that, that you be saved and you make it. We're, 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 in, we're in the giving back phase of our life. We just, we just want to see you make it. So everyone is standing as we, as we go into a word of prayer. But remember, it, it's, wherever you said it, just see yourself on the altar. Just see yourself laying right. down right. before right. God. Just see yourself yeah. laying out before yeah. God. Yeah. God, we just come to you this morning, God, we place God, we place ourselves on the altar, right where you're standing right now. That can be your altar. Hallelujah! You can be at the feet of Jesus right now. The feet of Jesus is not a place. The feet of Jesus is a mentality. The altar is not always a physical place. The altar is a mentality. God, I, I give up, God. God, help me to give up everything that's not like you, God. God, help me to walk in victory, God. God, I, I, you know, I cast down those imaginations, God. I pull down those strongholds, God. God, and as I cast them down and as I pull them down, as I cast them down and I pull them down, God, I'm bringing everything into the obedience of Christ, God. You know, after that, I'm going to think of those things that are lovely. I'm going to think of those things that are pure. I'm going to think of those things that are a virtue. I'm going to think of all those things that are good report. God, let the mind of Christ be our portion on this week. Hallelujah. We, we, we stand in the place of victory, God. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Thy will be done. Ha! Yasha, the noble show. Oh. In earth. As it is in heaven, thy will ha, be done in earth. As it is in heaven, thy will be done in earth. Hallelujah. As it is in heaven, thy will be done. We're under your control of this morning, God. We're like Mary. 
being unto me as the word says, God. But like Mary, be it unto me, be it unto us. Hallelujah. We glorify you and we magnify you and we give you all the praise. We glorify you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I feel deliverance in this house on this morning. I feel that God wants to do something for someone on this morning. Let God have his way on this morning. Let him do it for you. 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 It's just you and Jesus. There's no one else in the room but you and Jesus. Father, I come to you, God. God, I'm going to tell you about my troubles, God. I'm going to let you work it out for me, God. I'm going to let you work it out for me, God. Have your way in this place, Lord. Have your way in this place, Lord. Have your way in this place, Lord. Place, Lord. Do it for them, God. Hallelujah, God. That situation that they have on the altar, God. God, we intercede and we and we and we come against it right now, God. God, good set captives free, Lord. Heal in the name of Jesus. Heal in the name of Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Let me, let me God God will... Hallelujah. God is not finished yet. Uh, no, no, no. Yes, Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. We glorify you. Yes, Lord yes, 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 And as a result of those Thank attacks you, that you have experienced Jesus. this week, Thank it can be a mental or uh, emotional attack. Yes, it, Lord, it can just be some confusion or doubt or whatever the situation is. You know the cup of tea that you have experienced this week. God saw it. And He's not going to let it go out like that. Uh, the work that yes, he has been up is up. He's going to complete Hallelujah. it. So, Jesus. all they think I basically want you to basically do it. We, we just want you to open up your spirit. We've had just see Jesus, Jesus right there on the cross. Thank you, Jesus. Right. Just, just, just kind of slip He's into the moment. Now. Now. That's a transition. That's a, that's a shift that we God is going to allow to happen in, 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 in this room because there's somebody in here that's in God's need of God doing an operation. Do you need that spiritual breakthrough on this Is there a yes, Lord, in the house on this morning? Is there a yes, Lord? Gonna work on not on your mind, but most importantly, your spirit. Huh? So I just want you to to begin to love on God. Huh? Open up the open up the gates huh? of your heart huh? to God. Huh? He's he, he gonna begin to flood you, huh? flood you with His love. That's a yes, touch yes, in His yes, on this morning. Spirit of the living God, come on, come on, reach out. Huh? Can nobody huh? receive unless huh? you believe? Huh? Believe God to do His thing. Huh? Yeah, you know that situation. Huh? And although the enemy is really for the evil, God is going to turn it around for your good. So let's have to do the worship of Lord. Spirit of the living God, here we are, God. We cry out to you. We want you. We desire you. We hope that you will be desired. We call on the most shot. Come on, just begin to lift up. We call on the most shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We call on the most shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We call on the most shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We call on the most shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We call on the most shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We call on the most shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We call on the most shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We call on the most shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We call on the most shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We call on the most shot. To the depths of our soul, God. Touch right now, Lord. Somebody need a visitation on this morning, God. Yeah, God. Come on, just reach out. Come on, just reach out. Forget about what's happening in here. And we get to worship him in spirit and truth. God, he called a little shaka. God is about to do something. Amazing in your life. Come on, there he's right there. There he's right there. The spirit in the bride says, Come, who said, Well, come to the family, people, God. Lord, I love you, Jesus. That's it, that's it. Come on, see that. So reach it up. That is a reason not to die. He's asking for salvation. Father, we just glorify you. We just thank you for this time and your presence, God. Yes, God. God, we thank you for everyone that we have yeah, 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 God. God, we thank you everyone that you know this morning. Yes, this morning. We yes, love God. you. We appreciate you. God will be done. God will be done in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's give the Lord a hand clap.